Here's wiring diagram for a PW50. Uh, your magneto here is what comes out of your motor. It's what charges everything. Uh, CDI is what uh, sends your spark. Your control unit on this particular model is the one that actually has a uh, a uh, limiter. So when you actually turn your PW50 on, it, it uh, misses when you have it on start versus run. That's what that unit there is for. This thing has an inline diode uh, ignition pack. This goes to your spark plug, ground, and then there's a key switch. And uh, it's got three different positions. Like I said, it's got off, which is goes to a kill switch. It's got uh, start, which is the red and the black and yellow wire. Uh, and then it has a run position, which is red and uh, white and uh, black wire, or white and blue, whatever color that is. Uh, I'm just going to go over a little information. Uh, if you don't have fire, first thing you want to check is your magneto. Uh, get you a voltmeter, put it on uh, 20 volts, and this is alternating current uh, on anything like a motor. So alternating current volts. Apparently you'd have to set this one on 200. Uh, ground your black wire. Take your uh, red wire, which mine's duct tape with black tape. Uh, you would have your black wire grounded. First thing you want to check is your, there's a black and red wire coming out of your magneto. If you can stick it in the end of the plug, there's a little rubber cap on those. A lot of times you can get it, kick it over. Uh, if it's working correctly, you're going to get 25 plus volts. Uh, you can turn your voltmeter on to ohms, and you should get around 303 ohms on 2000 setting 2K. Okay. Uh, yellow and white wire. Again, your black wire is grounded. Kick it over. I was getting uh, 2.1 to 3.5 volts. Uh, obviously, if this bike was running, these volts are going to be higher. I think this is running actually is about 40 volts. This... Uh, part of the charging mechanism I'm sure so it should be getting a lot more volts than that but as long as you're kicking it over and getting some kind of voltage like that it should be good uh, white and red wire uh, 1.6 volts so if you're getting this kind of voltage out of here your uh, CDI which is your inside your motor should be good okay uh, and we'll go to the uh, CDI actually we'll go to your switch after that uh, sometimes these switches can go bad, and uh, if you've got voltage down at your magneto, plug your positive wire up to this red and black wire, uh, black and red wire, which is right here, and kick it over, and uh, make sure you got voltage coming up to your switch. So as long as you got to do that, then uh, take and you can put your deal back on ohms. Uh, set it for a real low setting and do a positive and negative between your black and red. Turn the switch on off. That would be the off position. And make sure you got some kind of reading. Do it again for the run position. That would be between the red and white and black wire. And make sure you get some kind of reading. And then the start position. That will tell you your switch is good. Okay. So uh, you go through there. Uh, switch is good. That sends power to all your stuff. Uh, and then you go to your control unit. Uh, one of the main things you also want to check here is a yellow and white wire. There's an inline diode. It's actually inside the wiring harness. Check and make sure you got voltage to this red wire here and to your ground while kicking it over, and that will tell you your diode's working. So your red wire there. Um, when I ended up finding out what was wrong with this, bike I was working on this wire right here was stuck in between the frame and it actually broke I had voltage to all my entire system but not to my ignition coil uh, this orange wire is going to put out about 25 plus volts when the bike's running it puts close to 40 so uh, you'd know it was good you can do a polarity check in between your orange wire and your ground and uh, you should be getting about 6.5 to 12 ohms excuse me I said polarity ohm check 6.5 to 12 on a 2k setting and I had two different PW50s this particular one did 6.5 ohms the other one I had did 12 ohms and actually both bikes run so that would be your uh, the difference in between there and you know this black and red wire here like I said 25 volts 
all these volt should be about the same as when they came out of these here because that's one solid wiring harness so no matter where you were at in between here here and here uh, should be voltage coming out of there so this is your out wire here uh, your out wire here these are the main ones that you want to check and uh, so if you're not getting spark uh, check until one of the ones don't have voltage and more than likely it's in there anyway I hope this helps if there's anything I, else I can help you with uh, just let me know uh, PW50 wiring diagram